Hi students, today's my lecture is about preservation of food. So this is uh, one of the topic in lesson number two in class eight uh, CBSC. So you all know the food is easily spoiled by microorganisms. The presence of microorganisms and uh, the release of toxins to food causing food intoxications and thereby you will be getting some diseases or infections related with food intoxications. So today we will discuss about what is food intoxication and uh, what are the preservative methods uh, we can follow to spoil food by microorganisms. So we see first what is preservation of food. By the word itself preservation. So preservation means something you are preserving to avoid the spoilage. So here the preserving item is food. So what is the advantage of doing this preservation? How can you prevent the growth of microorganisms in food? These things we'll see now. So food preservation, the definition is the method or the processing technique which is used to prevent the growth of microorganisms thereby preventing the deterioration or spoilage of food caused by these microorganisms. So we have the definition here. The first one is we are preventing the spoilage. So we are preventing the deterioration or spoilage of food caused by microorganism. And the second is we are retaining the nutritional value. Retaining the nutritional value of food. So food contains some nutrients, right? So these nutrients, how many nutrients are present or how much gram of these nutrients are present that we are retaining without affected by the growth of these microorganisms. So that is the next property. So thereby we are preventing the spoilage, we are retaining the nutritional value of food and we are preventing the spoilage of microorganisms by using these many techniques. So depends on the type of food, depends on the type of food, the method or the technique we are following will be different. Okay, so what are the methods here? First one, dehydration or sun drying method. So this is one of the old method and physical method thereby you are preventing the moisture content present in food. Once the food like vegetables or any other types of food we are exposing to sun, the sun's heat is reducing the moisture content present in food that process is called as dehydration. So we can prevent the growth of microorganisms. The reason is microorganisms require some amount of moisture content in food. The second method is refrigeration or cooling method. Refrigeration. So this is one of the preservation method we are using in all the homes to prevent the spoilage of food. If you have any extra food, to keep it inside the refrigerator and you have some temperature control there you can adjust the temperature so that you can maintain the food without spoiling by microorganisms for longer period and third one is deep freezing so you cannot call refrigeration deep freezing as one the met one method no this is different here deep freezing means it is minus negative temperatures Minus temperatures. Here refrigeration is can be 4 degree or below temperature but minus degrees we are following for deep freezing method mainly in food industries. Food industries or the packaging unit if they are exporting any food item they have to go for deep freezing method for longer shelf life. That is the third point here you can add up this point also 
shelf life you are prolonging or increasing the time period of food without affected by the spoilage caused by microorganisms so this we can do by deep freezing method next is salting or pickling method by adding common salt so this common salt is inhibiting or preventing the growth of microorganisms so this is one of the olden method or physical method thereby you can preserve the food for longer time example some vegetables and uh, pickles uh, and even fruits some fruits are even pickled to prevent the growth of microorganisms Micro microorganisms cannot survive in that salty habitat so here next is adding sugar or sugaring method so sugar is also considered as one of the preservative and easy to use as a preservative to prevent the growth of microorganisms next method is applying oil any oil if you are pouring over the food it is making a layer and preventing the and preventing the growth of microorganisms because this layer is not allowing the microorganism to multiply in that food so that the food is safe from microorganisms so commonly using oil is mustard oil or you can use coconut oil these are the oils we are using for food preservation next we have adding vinegar so what is vinegar the chemical name is citric acid so this is one of the weak acid this is also inhibiting the growth of microorganism that is the reason this is used in pickles or any other food item to prevent the growth of microorganisms next we have pasteurization method so this method is one of the heating method we are following this method for killing the microorganisms present in liquids so mainly this is followed for liquids and this is one of the heating method so that uh, it's mainly used in milk preservation method we have three types of pasteurization method vat method hdst method uht method what is vat method the big containers are called as vats so once this milk is taken to the vat or large container we are maintaining the temperature to 62.8 degree celsius or centigrade for almost like 30 minutes holding time so 62.8 degrees celsius for 30 minutes holding time so that the microorganisms which is present in that liquid would not survive and will be killed so here next is hdst method high temperature short term method high temperature short term method short term means here the holding time is less here it is 30 minutes but here you can keep only for 50, 15 to 30 seconds and temperature is 70 to 72 degrees celsius is the temperature followed for HTST method what is UHT method ultra high temperature method ultra high temperature method this method we are following 137.8 degrees celsius for 2 seconds 137.8 degrees celsius for 2 seconds and this can kill the bacteria or any microorganism which is survived after using these two methods if you are following vat method hdst method these are the normal methods commonly used in milk preservation but some bacteria which can resist high temperature like thermophilic bacteria bacillus or coxiella burnetti which is one of the causative agent of q fever 
So these bacteria can survive. So to kill those bacteria, we are using the method UHT, ultra high preservation method. Ultra high temperature method here. So these are the three methods used under pasteurization of milk. We have chemical preservatives. So what are the chemical preservatives we are using? So this is one of the chemical method because we are using chemicals as preservatives to preserve the food to prevent the spoilage. So we have sorbates. We have propionate. We have ammonia. We have sodium metabisulfite. So these are the commonly using chemical preservatives. And apart from this many preservatives we are using to prevent the spoilage of food. And next is sealed in airtight packets or this method is otherwise called as canning. So we are preserving after the food is ready. We are packing in tight containers without the presence of oxygen. So this method in cans. So we are using in can. Thereby this process is called as canning method. So make sure there is no moisture content inside the cans because aerobic bacteria which likes to live in the presence of oxygen can leave if you are leaving some oxygen content inside the cans. So we have canning method. Next is food irra irradiation. Irradiation means we are using ultraviolet radiation or any other radiation to prevent the growth of microorganism. So these are the different methods and we have boiling method also. Boiling or Heating method is the first method. So this method, the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. So similar methods we have here, heating and pasteurization. So actually these three are coming under heating method. But the temperature, what you are using and what type of food you are using under these methods are different. And what is the advantage of this adding sugar method? To reduce the moisture content present in food. So, if moisture content is there in food means it will favor the growth of microorganisms. So, we are reducing the moisture content by adding sugar. So, these are the different food preservation techniques we are commonly using and which are coming under physical methods or chemical methods. So, this is one of the topic in lesson number 2. So, we will see with another topic next time. Bye.